Hello everybody. Just real quick, wanted to show you uh, latest project working on. Um, just an idea. Um, I have a remote property where I don't have 110 power other than um, an inverter that's in my van. And I wanted to see if I could create some air creep. I haven't actually created the air creep, but I did uh, flirt with um, a uh, foam generator don't have a compressor don't have a big compressor but I do have this $19 Ryobi compressor and a couple of Home Depot buckets and this looks very promising uh, basically um, just put a cheap like $1 valve into a Home Depot bucket which is a couple bucks and the lid uh, maybe three four bucks for the bucket another buck and a quarter for the lid or two bucks for the lid and some one and a quarter PVC um, it's not the fastest foam generator, but it generates pretty good quality foam. It's not the tightest foam, but I think I prefer it with a little bit more bubbles for something lighter. Um, just this tube, uh, this uh, tubeless uh, air valve, tire valve, uh, it was $2.99 at AutoZone, two of them for that. You have to drill a hole with a variable drill at the bottom of the, uh, the bucket. And just make it real tight squeeze it from the inside out seems to be holding air and water just fine um, one and a quarter PVC on the lid just one of these uh, connectors with the thread on one side me real tight screwed it into there and um, and then just uh, this is electrical and electrical uh, uh, I don't know what they call these but it's a it's kind of like a screw head that uh, tightens this down a ring a, a one and a quarter uh, galvanized ring they might sell these in PVC somewhere I'm not sure it's got a rubber a rubber uh, ring on the inside a rubber seal on the inside it doesn't have to be super airtight like sometimes the bubbles are coming up from the top but it's not a big deal I don't want this thing exploding um, the PVC uh, one and a quarter end capped uh, just these are one eight holes I put on the bottom side you'll see why it's important you don't want to get too close to the edge here because that's where the uh, the tubes gonna glue in I didn't glue the tubes I just kind of forced them in and the pressure hasn't been great enough to pop them so I might leave them like that so that I can uh, tweak the design a little bit later um, some swab soap that everyone seems to be using it was two bucks for this uh, this container I, I poured about maybe I'd say a good couple of squeezes and then I filled this up maybe three quarters of the way to do the test um, I haven't I don't know whether more or less but it does seem to be generating pretty good quality foam um, I'll have to test it again when I go to create the uh, the air creep uh, this was a prior attempt you're looking at this this I actually shortened this uh, but you know it worked just as well uh, you definitely want to keep it tight because this is this is not very strong here so it's kind of like pulling on it and also it puffs up when you get the compressor going I've got a short video I'll show you in a minute here's the valve um, got a nice long valve it was cheap real good seal and this was the test I did the, this compressor from Ryobi 20 bucks at Home Depot you have to keep your finger on it but it's okay I mean I don't know maybe couple minutes to fill this up maybe five minutes to fill it up let's see this video As you can see some of the foam I don't care about the PSI but this is the low rate foam it's going Yeah, it's not the fastest phone machine, but really uh, fast enough 